fight Time to see the life take me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, how was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie I'll praise to the most high We're gonna pick back up Where the brother left off at Through the spirit Alright Give me the book of Acts Chapter 26 And give me verse 18 Alright Give me Acts chapter 26 and 18 Give me Ezekiel Chapter 3 And give me verse 17 it's the book of Acts chapter 26 verse 18 Bring it out. To open their eyes And to turn them from darkness to light right. And from the power of Satan Unto Yahweh Unto what? Unto Yahweh Read that again Unto, unto Yahweh So we gotta get our people And turn them from the power of Satan And get them back to the Most High God man. Cause Satan has these people Satan has a stronghold on them To the point where they can't stop sinning they can't stop drinking. You have people that can't stop committing adultery, man. They can't stop lusting. They can't stop stealing. Eve can't stop wearing booty shorts, man. Jake can't stop going to the club. Jake can't stop them doing gambling. We got to turn our people from the power of Satan. We got to bring them back to the Most High, man. To the point where they can't stop keeping the commandments. They can't stop reading. They can't stop praying. And they can't stop being on fire for the Most High. Read on. That they may receive forgiveness. How y'all doing, sisters? Y'all got a couple minutes to take out to educate yourselves on your nationality. All right, y'all Israelites, we got to repent and keep God's commandments. Yeah, sisters, come hear the word. What about you, brother? You already know what you know, brother. Read. That they may receive forgiveness of sins that they what that they, that they, that they may receive forgiveness of sins we want our people to be forgiven of their iniquities a lot of people think oh guess what i'm gonna just be forgiven by the most high god all right god is not gonna re uh remember my iniquities like the sister the other day she said i'm gonna repent tomorrow man yeah. right i was still meditating on that you know how bugged that you gotta be to say i'm gonna repent tomorrow man? you know how filthy your garment already filthy right you already have blots and blemishes, and you're going to repent tomorrow. You're going to let it get some more stain and repent tomorrow. But we want our people to get forgiveness of sins. Because right. that's how you're going to make it. You're not going to make it by going to church, man. Right. You're not right. going to make it by these different religious uh, institutes. Right. Or just being a good person. Right. Yeah, I'm just a good person. I give to the homeless. All right? I mean, yeah, I'm a good person. I take care of my family. You know, I'm faithful to one woman for 15 years. That's not what's going to get you the kingdom of the Most High. Right. You must be blameless and have your sins blotted out by the Lord. Read on. An inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Whereupon, O King Agrippa. That's it on that. Give me Ezekiel chapter 3 and 17. Ezekiel right. chapter 3 and verse 17. Bring it out. Yo, son of man. I have made thee a watchman. I have what? I have, I have made, made thee a watchman. watchman. What the Lord said? I, I have made thee a watchman. Right. All the brothers out here, they're watching, man, right. for the nation. Right. All right, the most I have set them up to be a watch over the people. Read on. Unto the house of Israel. Right. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. And what? And, and give, give them, them warning, warning from me. me. What are we out here doing? And, and give, give them warning, warning from, from me. me. And we're not just out here because it's nice outside, man. Huh? Right. All right? Or because it's a decent day at the so-called beam. All right? Or for money. All right? Or just to get our cloud up. We're out here to warn the people, man. I don't think they understand how serious this is. We're giving you warning directly for the most high God that this place is about to go down. Right. That this place is going to be destroyed. Right. That all sinners and evil men and women, if you don't repent and come back to your nationality, that you will die. Right. This is a serious warning. Right. Like the warning they got on the TVs. All right. This is an uh, uh, emergency alert. All right. This is a severe warning and judgment. Hey, brother, did you know that? You know your nationality? What is it? What is it? All right. We're giving them warning. If you don't know your nationality in the last days, you're going to be destroyed, man. Right. If you don't repent and keep the commandments, you're going to be finished. Right. Y'all have questions? No? All right, what's your nationality? Jordanian. 
Jordanian. Jordanian. Jordanian. Jordanian. Where's that located? Jordan. Jordan. Uh, we border. We border uh, Egypt, Palestine. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, guess what? Just not for you. Y'all believe in the Bible? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Why do y'all believe in the Bible? I'm You're a Christian. I'm raised Christian. You was raised Christians. So, from you learning Christianity, what have you learned? Have you read the Bible? A long, long time ago, yeah. So you don't read like you don't read it no more. Okay, so your time of being in Christianity, what learning have you acquired of the Bible, or what made you still believe in it? Because you want to go to heaven one day, right? right. Or you, uh, your belief is predicated on the things you do is to one day get into eternal life. Right. So, from you reading the Bible and, and the scriptures, have you read the whole Bible or just certain parts? Uh, okay, certain parts. And it, it's quite a I don't really remember much. So you don't really, you're not really even into it like that? No, no, I'm not. Uh, I would like to be, but I just haven't in a while. All right, well, keep, if you don't mind, we're going to show you a couple verses before you leave. Give me Luke 1 and 68. Joel 20 and 27. <laughs> Alright, now it's good that you're not really into it. Because believe it or not, if you were you were an Israelite, you heard of the Israelites. The, the same people that Moses freed out of Egypt. We are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. And believe it or not, the God of the Bible, do you believe that he's a God of everybody? Yeah. You do? Okay, let's read this. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read that again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So God, according to the Bible, believe it or not, God is only the God of Israel. Right. He wouldn't be the, yeah, he created all people, but he wouldn't be the God of all people. Right. For example, uh, Buddha, that's not your God. That's the God of the so-called Chinese. Right. Shiva Ganesh. That's the God of the um the East Indians. That one pretend me that one pretend. So it's the same way with the God of the Bible. God is only the God of Israel. Joel 2 and 27. It's the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Read on. And that I am the Lord. Your God right. and none else. And what? And, and none, none else. else. Lord said. And, and none, none else. else. So, unfortunately, if you're not on this sign, the Bible wouldn't be for you. Right. All right. You have. Uh, unfortunately, you have been told. You've been told. You've been lied to. Right. By America, by the world, for you and Christianity, for you to grow up and believe that this book was created for your belief. This book is actually a history book, believe it or not, right. with records of a Pacific people. Right. So y'all just learned something today. Yeah. All right. So y'all gotta stop believing in the Bible. All right. Today. That's right. So right now, are, are y'all gonna stop believing in the Bible? Well, my mom is not gonna like that. Well, guess what? It's not about you. It's, it's you have your own life to live, right? Right. Your mom. I don't think your mom controls and decide what you do. Right thing. You want to do the right thing. Because, look, when you pick up this Bible, you actually picking up somebody else's identity. Right. And you're taking it on. That's why people, they think the Jews over there in the land, people think that those are the real Jews. When Did you know the real Jews originally were dark-skinned people? You knew that? Where? So you admit that. Where? The real Jews are black. See, that there you have it. Have it. There, you have it. there you have it. Right. See that you didn't you didn't know that, did you? I was no, she said Middle East. I, I, I was, that's what I was thinking, Middle East or dark skin. Right? Well, uh, a lot of people don't associate Middle East with dark Middle East is just a geographical location. Yeah. Right. There's no color on Middle East. That's true. You have many different you know, you have Ethiopians, they're dark skin. So hey, did you know Jesus Christ was a black man? And you're okay with that? You're fine with that? So why would they paint a, a white Jesus if he's really black? 
Right. Why would they do that? We'll give y'all a thousand dollars if y'all can answer that. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. One K. We'll pack up and leave. If y'all can answer that, we'll pack up and leave. Alright. See that he couldn't answer the question. He left off confounded, man. Hi. We drove 62. They left off confounded. Alright. Alright, what are you doing? Not much. Not you. We preaching the word of the Lord. We telling people like you you're going into captivity. Right, right. What do you say? Oh no, is that a no. heal? Yeah, that's easy. Put him on. Lord, to him. It's fire. This is the book of Job, chapter 6, verse 20. Bring it out. They were confounded. They were what? They, they were, were confounded. confounded. What the Lord said? They, they were, were confounded. confounded. Read that again. They, they were, were confounded. confounded. Read. Because they had hope. Right? She had hope that one day she might enter into everlasting life. She might hope that her beliefs that her mom taught her is instilled in her. And as she grew up, one day she could see Jesus, all right, and shake his hand. Right. But guess what? They had hope. That's why they was confounded. Read on. They came thither. They came up and what? It was a shame. It was what? It was a shame. It was a shame that Christ was a black man. All right. It was a shame that the real Jews are melanated people. Right. It was a shame that this Bible is not really for them the whole time. That it's only for the Israelites. Right. They was ashamed of these things. Give me Psalms 147 and 19. All right. So we got to make sure the truth is being proclaimed. Man. We don't want any false doctrine going on. Then you have people thinking, well, hold on. All right. All nations, they can receive the word of the Lord. Right. All right. They can. Man. Well, hold on. That's not in the Bible. Right. Psalms 147, 19. So, we don't, we don't want 40. any heathens believing in the Bible. Man. Right. Right. We don't want any heathens picking up our scriptures. Right. All right. This is our holy books, man. All right. Well, our forefathers, you know, have diligently scribed certain things out. We can't have the heathens pick that up, man. Right. We see a heathen with a Bible in their hand, man. We're going to snatch it out their hand, man. Right. right. Say, what are you doing with this, man? Right. Read this. So, chapter 147. In verse 19, bring it out. He showed his word unto Jacob. He what? He, he showed his, his word unto Jacob. No, everybody. He showed his word unto Jacob. Read. His statute and his judgments unto Israel. Right? The Lord is always showing his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Give me that in Sirach chapter 17 and 12. Read on. He have not dealt so. He have what? He, he have, have not, not dealt, dealt so. Read that again. He, he have not dealt so. What the Lord said? He, he have not dealt so. He have not dealt so. Hey, brother, in the blue. You got a minute for the word? Brother, brother. So it says, he have not dealt so, man. You can't get around this, he have not dealt so. He's not, that means he's not dealing with what? With any nation. With what? With, with any nation. nation. Read that again. With yeah, any nation. nation. He's not dealing with the other nations. Right. What's going on, brother? You got a minute for your nationality? All right, you got to repent, brother, and come back to the commandments. Right. All right. And put away the strange women. Right. At a land. Right. All right. What about you, family? Y'all got a minute for the word? Y'all are Israelites. We got to repent and come back to the Lord. Right. So read this, Sirach 17 as well. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 12. Break it out. He made an everlasting covenant with them. He what? He, he made, made an, an everlasting, everlasting covenant, covenant with, with them. them. He only made that everlasting covenant with our fathers. Read on. It showed them his judgment. And what? It, it showed them, them his judgment. Read on. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory. And their ears heard his glorious voice. Right. And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. Do what? Beware, Beware of all unrighteousness. Those, uh, mix in with the heathens of the land. Beware, Beware of all, all unrighteousness. Right? That's one of the, you know, we come out here, we teach our people. That's one of the uh, main common sense we see. Interracial marriages. All right? Our people mixing in with the heathens. Whether that's Eve being with a uh, so-called white man. All right? Y'all family got a couple minutes for the Bible? All right, whether that's uh, Jake being with a Moabite. 
All right. We seen Jake with a uh, Edomite, huh? with Down syndrome. Yeah. All right. Freaking off with a Down syndrome Edomite. Bro. All right. Then we trying to pull him away. We trying to we we pulling the brother to the commandments. Then she down pull him away, man. All right. Nevertheless, that's one of the big commandments, you know, that our people have a, a hard time dealing with. The woman, the woman of the other nations. So the Lord said, beware of all unrighteousness. Because the Lord showed us great things. We saw his judgments. We saw the things that the most I could do, man. For us and to our enemies. You know what? And he gave every man commandment. And he what? And he gave every man commandment. You know what? Concerning his neighbor. See that? The Lord gave us the commandments, man. Concerning how to deal with our brothers. All right. Concerning how to deal with our children. All right. How to please the most I got. But we rejected that. All right. We wanted a king over us. All right. We wanted to do what we wanted to do. Give me first Samuel chapter 12 and 8. All right, first Samuel chapter 12 and 8. Bring it out, bring it out. Israel, they said, we don't want the Lord to reign. The most I had everything set up. Right. They said, we don't want to, we don't want the Lord to reign over us. All right, we want a king to reign over us. All right, read this. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 8. Bring it out. When Jacob was come into Egypt, and your fathers cried unto the Lord, then the Lord sent Moses and Aaron, which brought forth your fathers, out of Egypt right. and made them dwell in this in this place. And when they forgot that the Lord like and when they forgot the Lord their God, he sold them into the hand of Syria. Right. So Sisera. the most size he's doing all of these different things every time our fathers cry out, huh? Alright, what did I was in a book of judges? Every time the Israelites they was in bondage, they cried out, and the most I delivered them, huh? The most I didn't forsake them. The most I say, no, I'm not dealing with you forever. It is what it is. No, the Lord came through every time. He was a father. It's no account of the Lord not coming through for us. Read the accounts. Jump down to verse 13. No. Verse 13. Now, therefore, behold, the king whom ye have chosen and whom ye have desired, and behold, the Lord hath hath set a king over you. Right. If you will fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice. Start at verse 12. Verse 12. And when ye saw that that what Nahash. What's your nationality? Read. And when ye saw that Nahash, the king of, of the children of Ammon, came against you, ye said unto me, Nay. But a king shall reign over us. If they said what? Nay, but a king shall reign over us. What did our people want? Nay, but a king shall reign over us. Hey, our people wanted a king to reign over us, huh? All right. That's all. Hey, nowadays, our people don't care who reign over us, huh? All right. Our people want it. They want a Palestinian to reign over us. Our people have it down. Ham might reign over us. Yeah, let's get Obama back. Man. All right, he's a hamlet, man. Hell no. You want Obama Whoa. back? See, that ain't want Obama back. And we don't want Obama back, man. Right. We want your Howard Shaw back, man. Right. We want the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords back, man. Right. We want the Most High to be our king, man. Right. We don't want no ham Obama. But yeah, they had the Obama phones. Right. All right. Obamacare. Obamacare. And what did Obama do? We still in slavery. Right. He was in, in office for what, eight years? Right. We still in captivity. Right. What did Obama do for us? What did, what did he open up a library? <laughs> I, I remember that. They opened up the library downtown. Obama. Yeah, I think it's closed. I don't even know if it's still open. Right. All right. Museums. You're not dealing with Obama, man. Right. Read on. Nay, but a king shall reign over us. When the Lord your God was your king. When the what? When, when the, the Lord, Lord your God, God was, was your king. king. What did the prophet Samuel say? When, when the, the Lord, Lord your God, God was your king. king. And that's us still now sometimes, man. We still seeking that validation, man. Right. Whether that's from a woman, whether that's from your parents, whether that's from a man. We still seeking that validation when all the validation you need is from the Lord. Right. The Lord brought you into this truth. What do you need uh, validation for? What do you need somebody over you for? 
You believe in the Bible rights with the grub hug, Jack. Brother, brother, check it out. Check it out. What's your nationality? Huh? What's your nationality? Nationality? Huh? You what? Cameroon? Yes. Okay, all praises. All right, so the Cameroonians uh, over there, more than likely, some of them are actually a part of the 12 tribes of Jude and Israel. Did you know that? I speak French. You said, you speak French? Yes. No English? Small English. Uh, small English. Okay, okay. Well, you're not advancing French. You know, we can say bonjour. <laughs> all right? That's all we know. Right. Nevertheless, you know, we can, uh, you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? See, we might have to See, I was just learning French, too. Crazy. Yeah. You got a uh, translator? No. Google Translate? I'm pulling that up right now, too. You got it? Yeah, I was just going to say you are in Israel. Okay. I asked him, do you believe in the Bible first? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah? Okay, okay. Wait, you are Israel. I said you are Israel. Now we got a translation for you. Translation. Do us all easily dance la Bible. Yes. 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 Yes, the Bible. It's all right. Right? All praises. All praises. So, uh, you would say YouTube. You got YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. I see your YouTube. But then a YouTube channel for the brother. Repent this. Vow and respect this. Let's commend commandments. The deal. You want it? Uh, internet, no connection. Oh, we got a pen. Paper. You come from France? Turkey. Turkey? You come Turkey to here? No, I first first go for Turkey. My wife is Turkey. Mm -hmm. Oh, your wife in Turkey? Yeah, I live for it. Uh, you can just play WFI. Or WFI Europe as well. Hmm? WFI France. I don't think it's music. We got WFI France. I'll buy you. Yeah, I see friends. Yeah, they probably do. I see friends. They probably do. Look on that. And you on YouTube. All right. Oh, crazy. Bible? I just put that on. One of my little toys. All right. Hey, all praise to the most side, man. You got brothers from France. That's how you know. Hey, we scattered into all the earth. Right. Give me the. Give me the book of Acts, chapter one and eight. Give me James one and eight. Acts chapter one and eight. Give me the book of Acts, chapter one and eight. Give me James chapter 1 and give me verse 1. You believe in the Bible, sister? Oh, read this. This is the book of James chapter 1 verse 1. No. James, a servant of God and of, Lord, and of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, 
to the 12 tribes. To the what? To, to the, the 12, 12 tribes. Right. Which are scattered abroad. Where are we? Which, which are, are scattered abroad. abroad. Are we just in Chicago? Which, which are scattered are abroad. Are we just in uh, LA. Which, which are, are scattered abroad. And the Lord said to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Right. right. We scattered everywhere. It's Israelites in France, Japan. It's Israelites in uh, Japan. All right, we got a new uh, man by the name of Roy Humuchimura. Hey, sister, and a white sister. All right, sister, you gotta separate, you gotta separate from your enemies. Right. Get away from those heathens. Literally, hand join hand. Hand in hand, hand join hand. Literally. Literally. All right. Nevertheless, you got Israelites in Japan, Australia, right? Damn, um, Tokyo, China, right. Great Britain, right? France, right? What else? Uh, Suriname, Germany, right. Russia. Right. They got Israelites in Ukraine, man. Right. South America. Right. Uh, Canada. Right. Hey, you. Hey, we'll be surprised if it's an Israelite in Antarctica. Right, man. Ice. It's Israelites in Iceland. In Alaska, right. literally in Alaska. Yeah, in Alaska, they got gangs out there in Alaska. Right. And Jake out there gang banging in Alaska, man. Right. Towing the poles and pipes. How? Right. In Alaska, all right, they gang banging up the, they hood. They saying, "What hood are you from?" So guess what? We everywhere, but we were scattered as a curse. Now it's hard to really connect with our people because it's so many different language barriers. Are they in different, uh, diverse cultures, things of that nature? But the most I scattered us for a curse in the whole earth. So bring this out in Acts chapter one and eight. Book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 8. Break it out. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Right. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem. Both in what? Both, both in Jerusalem. Read the one. Both. And in all Judea. Right. And in Samaria. Right. And unto the uttermost part of the earth and to the what and, and unto the, the uttermost part of the earth. earth where are people at and, and unto the, the uttermost part of the earth and we in the uttermost parts of the earth uh, right all right we even think that we not at that's where we are right you can't put a uh, specific estimate or calculation on the truth of israel give me that in hosea when it's in the lord said we were more than a sin that's on the seashore in america they say it's only uh they said a white race make up majority of America on the population. All right, this is the so-called black race is really not that many of us. Well, you don't know that, man. Right. We has the sand and the sea. Right. It's people who may look like Esau or the Europeans, but they really Israel. Right. All right. How you doing, Cain? You got a couple minutes for the Bible for your nationality. Are right, you an Israelite, brother? You got to repent and keep the commandments. Right. Come back to the most side in these last days. Right, right. Bring this up. Hosea chapter 1 and verse 10. Bring it out. Yet the number of the children of Israel right. shall be as the sand of the sea. Shall what? Shall, shall be, be as, as the sand of the sea. No, you can number us. Shall be as the sand of the sea. And, and we like the sand of the sea, man. You know how much sand is actually on the sea? That's a lot. That's a lot of, that's a lot of sand. Right. It's even sand in the waters. Right. When you go underneath, you know, the ocean. All right. What's your nationality, brothers? With the coffee, Starbucks. Oh, first, hey, you said what? Oh, let's talk, let's talk about the Bible, brother. Real fast. You said what? You don't know? Well, come learn it. Come learn, brother. Today's the Sabbath day, brother. All right. Well, guess what? We like the sand that's on the seashore. And you try to number all the little sand particles, you're going to bug out. Right. It's sand even inside of the uh, snail's trail. So you got to get underneath there, too. Right. Then you got to get underneath the water. Right. Then it's a crab. You probably got some sand in his mouth. Right. You got to, it, it's too much to, you know, get into. That's how the Israelites are, man. Right. All right. Read on. Which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it said unto them, Ye are not my people, 
There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. All right. Give me Second Chronicles. Uh, give me First Chronicles 21 and 1. All right. Give me some. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 37, verse 23. Yeah. Yeah. Sit on that. No, hold that. Read this. First Chronicles, chapter 21 and verse 1. Bring it out. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. And what? And provoked David to number Israel. So, hey, Satan tried to provoke King David to number the children of Israel. That was foolish. All right, David already knew he couldn't. I mean, he knew Genesis chapter 13, chapter 16, 15. What a Mosai said, hey, give me that in Genesis 13 and 16. What a Mosai said, Israel is like the dust of the air. All right, so David already, you know, Satan provoked him to do that foolish thing. That's foolish. Are we in a town? There's some Israelites in certain buildings somewhere, ducked off. In the middle of nowhere in the jungle right. in South America, Brazil, right. hey, down there, hey, the jungle is, hey, you get deep down there. You believe in the Bible, sister? You believe in the Bible? You got a couple minutes for the word? All right. See that with Moab. That Moab. Yeah, Moab stinks, man. Lost part. Bring this up. Genesis chapter 13 and verse 16. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth. And I will what? And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth. And the Lord said to Abraham, your seed is going to be like the dust of the earth. Right. And it's dust particles you can't even see. You can only see it sometimes when the light kind of beams down. You see those little particles. But that's everywhere. We can't even see it. And it filled the whole world up. Read on. So. If a man can number the dust of the earth, it says what? So if a man can number the dust of the earth, Esau can't even number the dust of the earth. And he likes to number a lot of things. Right. Yes, uh, so called uh, 7.8 billion people on the earth. Bible, or the Bible? Yeah. Let me listen. Yeah. Is this Christos? Is Christos? Christian? Yes. No, no Catholic? Okay, well, uh, one of my notes, what about? Uh, English, you speak English? Uh, more or less. Okay, me, uh, okay, me, uh, poquito espanol. But, we gonna give you some, you know, um, one verse out the Bible. About Jesus Christos, you believe in Jesus Christos? Do you believe his first dose is Blanco or Negro? I don't. No, it's important to call It's not important? Yes. I haven't heard it. Okay, well, they, they say his crystals are uh, Blanco. That's what they say. Now, we're going to read to you out the Bible what, what color is really his crystals because it, it matters. All right, bring this up. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. Pick it out. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Right. Jesus Christos, Revelation. Yeah, Revelation. Garment down to his foot. Green garment. Clothes. We don't want. And dirt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Yeah, white woolly hair. Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Right, his feet. Read on. Like unto fine brass. Well, you know what kind of brass is? A penny. What well, uh what color is a uh, penny? Penny. You got a penny? No penny? You know what color though, right? Uh brown. Yeah. Cafe. You had you speak Spanish? You let her know. Okay. Uh we was reading Revelation one and fourteen to her. 
Let him know what color that Christ was. Okay, and then we have Yeah, read it on. Go ahead, read it now. And his feet were light unto fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. Right, it's not just Judah. You know, see, see. Uh, you, you, you take. See you. Picture with me. Uh, no. No, but you you can take picture if you want. But me me you no okay, okay. But you can take picture. All right, but it's, it's okay though. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. We, out, we out here doing the work of the Lord. Well, afterward, if we, you know, if we weren't doing the work of the Lord, man. Nevertheless, you know, we, we doing the work of the Most High. All right. Work of the Most High that comes first. Hey, sister. Sister. Sit down. All right. Be uh, he's asking Mr. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Right. Fear God right. and keep his commandments. And what? And keep his commandments. What do we have to do? And keep his commandments. Right. So we got to fear God and we got to keep his commandments. Right. All right. Adios. Yeah. <laughs> and we gotta fear him and keep his commandments. Yeah, we got we gotta fear him and keep his commandments. Alright. 
And since you know any commandments, according to the Bible, so you, to ease those other commandments, we all trapped up in the bus. Right. But we, hey, we need the tribe of Issachar, and we need them to start keeping the commandments, man. Right. We need the uh, tribe of Zebulon, and we need them to start keeping the commandments. Right. We need the tribe of Gad to wake up so they can start keeping the commandments. Right. Right. We need the tribe of Naphtali, and they all kind of off the radar. Right. We need them to come back and start keeping the commandments of the Lord, man. Right. You can't just be Judah, Benjamin, Levi. All right, that it is. Yeah, where is Asher? Right. Where's the tribe of Manasseh? Right. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So we, right. we need, and hey, we need Asher out here, man. Right. All right. right. We need to keep the, we need to keep the commandments, the Manassehites. Y'all got a minute for the Bible family? But thank you. All right, y'all Israelites. We gotta keep the commandments. Right. All right. Give me Jeremiah. I mean, give me Revelation chapter seven. And verse four. Go. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 4. You know. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Which were what? Which, which were sealed. sealed. What is our job? Which, which were, were sealed. sealed. Read that again. Which, which were sealed. sealed. Right, we need our people sealed, man. Right. It's 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe that has to know this truth, man. That has to come back to the Most High God. Hey, this stuff gets serious, man. This, hey, the 144,000 need to be sealed. Sometimes we might be on our everyday lives, our everyday journeys, all right, occupied in our labors on a physical level in this world. But you gotta hold fast to 144,000 men has to be sealed by the, for the most I got. All right, read on. Which were sealed, and there were sealed in 144,000. Read that again. And hundred and forty four thousand no uh, thirteen thousand and a hundred of forty four thousand just one person and a hundred of forty four thousand fifteen thousand and a hundred of forty four thousand hundred and thirty nine thousand and a hundred of forty four thousand hundred and forty three thousand and a hundred of forty four thousand and we need a hundred forty four thousand that's still man right all right we need brothers like you seal man you believe in the bible brother Bible? Yeah. You uh what's your what's your nationality? Uh, African American. Okay, what if I told you, brother, you, you're not an African American? I said, what if I told you that you're not an African American? You're an Israelite, brother. Right. right. Have you ever heard that name? What you know about that name? Where did you hear about it from? This is your first time hearing about it. Okay, well guess what? You're an Israelite, brother. Right. Do you know where the word African American originates from? So that word was chiefly was used, you know, in the eighteen hundreds first, but it was popularized in the nineteen eighties by Reverend Jesse Jackson. So that's a newly created term. Your ancestors wasn't always calling themselves African American. Right. Right? You're not a black man. Right. Just in America. You have brown skin. Right. right. You're not a slave. Right. Are you not a Negro? Right. You're not a nigga. Right. According to the Bible in the eyes of the Most High, you will be a part of his chosen people. Right. Give me First Chronicles 16 and 13. Bring it out. And the Lord chosen people is the Israelites. You have 12 tribes which make up the children of Israel. You got good news, brother, because you will be on that you will be on that sign. Right. You will be a part of the people of the covenant. A holy people. Right. A people of uh Kings and priests. Right. Give me that in Revelation 1 to 5. Bring this up. First Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 13. Bring it out. O ye seed of Israel. O ye what? O ye seed of Israel. Read that again. O ye seed of Israel. Read on. His servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen one. Hey, brother, where you going? Where you going, brother? You listening? Brother. You see that? We've never seen that in our lives. <laughs> yeah, I don't, we don't know. we never seen that like that, man. Satan could have took his mind. All right. 
All right, he could have been so confounded he just left off. We know that the spirit I probably have going on. All right, he just turned around and walked off. On the word, he walked around in a circle. He did a U-turn and peeled off. That's a hey, we confounded up here, man. We never seen anything like that. Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible? You got a couple minutes to learn something. Come learn something about yourself. Come on, brother. All right, see the so-called white man got his head off, messed up. All right, he walked in a circle and he just peeled off. Put on it, put back on his headphones. All right, and left off like a uh, fugitive, a nomad. See that? Wow, man. Read on in that. Oh, ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob. His chosen one. We was going to tell the brother that he was chosen from the foundation of the earth, huh? That he was born to be a special people. Right. He was born superiorly better than the other nations. He was born with him being able to serve the most high. All the, the nations, they wasn't born, born with that, man. The ability to serve God, to please him. Hey, that's special. That's chosen. Right. He was born with the ability to to learn the name of the Most High and call upon His name. That in itself, just calling upon the name of the Lord in itself, and you extremely chosen, man. Everybody don't know the name of the Most High. Right. When people know the name, some people they can't even pronounce it correct. You tell them the name, they say, oh yeah, Yahweh, okay. All right, Yahushua, all right. They can't even pronounce the name of the Most High. Right. But our people, they have cast enough their chosenness they cast behind their backs. They don't want to be chosen, man. They want to be crooks, evildoers. What's, what's your sister's nationality? Huh? What's your uh, nationality? Puerto Rican. Oh, we got good news for y'all. Two minutes. Y'all got two minutes. All right. Y'all believe in the Bible? All right, well, if you see yourself on the sign, um, more than like you would be from the tribe of Ephraim. Puerto Rico, like you brother said. Puerto Ricans. So did you know, do you know the history of the Puerto Ricans before they was called Puerto Rican? All right, so the Puerto Ricans, they go back to a, a Arquark people called the Taino Indians. You ever heard about the Taino Indians? Okay, now the Taino Indians, they was originally on the island of Hispaniola. Before, y'all heard of Christopher Columbus? Before Christopher Columbus came to that island, you had your ancestors already there. Right. Now what they don't tell you is about the Taino Indians, the Taino Indians go back to another tribe, but the people before that, which was called the tribe of Ephraim. Right. That, the tribe of Ephraim is found as a biblical tribe, which is a part of the Israelites. You ever heard of the Israelites? Uh, people that Moses freed from slavery. And believe it or not, y'all will be those people that descend from. But y'all will be from the tribe of Ephraim. All right. Definitely, we got a flyer for you. Looking more into that. This is your history. We got to repent and keep God's commandments in the last days. All right. So, sisters, take care of y'all Israelites. How you doing? How you doing? All right. We got two minutes. Two minutes. All right. See, so we were just talking about Northern Kingdom, man. All right, we were just talking about the tribe of Ephraim. Right. Who else on there, man? They be ducked off in the cut. Right. Simeon. Yeah, Simeon. Now, where is Simeon at? We need Simeon to uh, wake up. Right. Come back to the... Yeah. Yeah, they is on the East Coast. A lot of them on the East Coast. Bro, you got a minute for the word? All right. More than likely, you will be an Israelite, brother. So bring our revelation. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 5. Freak it and from Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead. Now verse 6. Verse 6. And have made us kings and priests. And have what? And have made us kings and priests. No African American. And have made us kings and priests. So the Lord made you kings and priests. Right. You know what comes with being a priest? All right, you know what comes to being a king? 
a specific standard. You, everybody can't call themselves a priest, man. Right. The priests are home, holy, blameless. Right. All right, you got brothers saying, "Yeah, I'm a priest," but they damn getting off on their wicked thoughts in their head. All right, For the priests don't do that. The priests don't let wicked thoughts linger on their mind and entertain them. The priests keep themselves holy. All right, they have a uh, specific. They can't. The priests can't do anything. All right, read read about. They have certain laws of that of a uh, Nazarite when you go into it. All right, can't come near the dead. Nevertheless, the Lord made us kings and priests. We're not black people. We tired of hearing our people saying we're black. We tired of hearing the word African American, man. Right, right. We tired of hearing what else we hear? Damn, yeah, Mexico, yeah, African American, Mexican. All right, you got people saying my nationality is GD. All right, a uh, hood. You got E saying I'm a bad B. All right, we tired of hearing that, man. Right. We want to hear kings and priests. Right. Read on. It had made us kings and priests. Right. Unto God and his Father. Right. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. See that? So the most I made us kings and priests unto him. Right. Give me Zechariah 17 and 11. I mean 7 and 11. Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 11. But they refused to hearken. Oh, what? But they refused to hearken. That was the brother. You know, he did a, a 4 360 and put his headphones back and fled down to Michigan Avenue. All right, he refused to hearken. Why would you want to refuse to hearken information that's going to change your life? But our people got itching ears, man. So when they do hear this word, it convict. It might convict their spirit. They're or they're so focused on their lust, it's tingling their ears. They got to damn run away. Right. It's tingling their ears. They got to put their headphones on. I can't hear none more of this. All right can't hear none of this and peel down the street so our people have refused to hearken read on and pulled away the shoulder and what and pulled away the shoulder you have certain people they actually pulled away the shoulder you, you tap on a brother the commander where he said get off you man all right you have people literally sticking up the middle finger hey brother you got a minute for the word in the black hat Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. One second. One second, brother. This is for God, brother. This is for the most high. You said what? You believe God? Well, guess what? If you he he that is of God heareth God's words. Right. That's in John chapter eight and forty-seven. And he that heareth not God's words is not of God. Well, hold on. What verse is that? What verse is that, brother? See that? Insert. Insert. Add to the word. See that? You try to add into the word, man. Read on to this. And stop their ears. And what? And stop, stop their, their ears. ears. What do our people do? And, and stop, stop their, their ears. ears. We had this one man. All right, he used to always scoff, but he used to just walk by and just he just walk by on purpose and stop his ears, man. Brothers, remember that? Light skin with the glasses. Bro. Right. Where? People handing out crosses. All right. You had the uh, one man just stopping his ears. What's going on, brother? I'm all right. How you doing? You know you're an Israelite? What tribe? Judah? How long you been doing? Sure, well. Sure, well. You got any questions? Yeah, we got a flyer. You familiar with some commandments? What commandments are uh, you know? All right, what commandments you know? All right, what's some commandments you already familiar with? Ten. You said what? Ten and feast days. Okay, ten and feast days. You heard about uh, fringes? Yeah, I heard it. You got fringes? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All praises. All right, all praises. You heard about the feast days? Sabbath day, all of that. Okay, all praise to the most high. All right, so we got a fire for you, you know, brother, give it to you. Right there behind you. Hey, sisters, come hear the word. Hey, sisters, come hear the word. Come hear the word. We are here for y'all. You said what? Hey, brother, it's the second time, brother. 
It's the same time, brother. Come on, brother. You come here. Even, you know, you don't have time for mind games, man. All right? We out here, baby. We trying to save your soul from death. Right. We trying to give you everlasting life. Right. You want to play mind games with the service of the Lord. I'm just walk around. I'm going to come right back and see if they say something again. Yes. They come oh, back. Word, yes, that is. Hey, Eve, they'll do that, bro. Right. Oh. All right, I'm going to bend over right now. Madness. Right. All right. They got to play those little snares and nets. Right. Hey, that's why the Lord gave me that in Ecclesiastes 7, 27. What about you, sister? You got a minute for a word? Yeah. Not today. Are you an Israelite, sister? You got to repent and keep the commandments. Right. So with this, not today's spirit. Alright. Bring this up. Ecclesiastes 27. 7 and 26. Right. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 20, 26. And I find more bitter than death. The woman. The what? The, the woman, woman. The what? The, the woman. woman read the one? Whose heart is snares and nets. What are Eve's intentions? In oh, snares yeah. and nets. They like to play mind games. Right. Like to trap you up. You can't trap up the service of the Lord, man. Right. right. Especially not. And we out. We out number you, man. Right. We got the brothers out here, man. Right. You can't try to trap up the service. You know what? Let me see if I'm gonna just walk around again. Might drive high to bump a uh, put on. All right. Again, we trying to save your soul from the destruction that's to come. Right. If our people only knew the destruction that was to come to this earth. If the Lord was to give them a vision of what's actually going to come, a lot of them will bug out. Right. And a lot of them will faint, start throwing up. Right. And they, just, they, start, they can't start freaking out, running around with their head cut off. Because you see these judgments, the most I hear put that fear in your spirit, man. To the point where you're like, wow, we sweating bullets. All right. To the point you just start... Hey, brothers did certain things, they just went out, they start teaching the words of the Lord. But that was, uh, damn, three o'clock at night, three o'clock in the morning, oh, yeah, I gotta call some, I gotta preach to them. I gotta do a lot. That's how the spirit of have you doing. But guess what? You wanna pay, uh, mind games. Read on. And her hands as bands, who pleaseth God shall escape from her. It says what? Who pleases God shall escape from her. If you please in the most high, you're going to escape from that evil woman. Right. All right. You're going to escape from that wicked woman who like to play mind games. All right. Who like to get your, you all uh, jammed up in your feelings, man. Right. But what? Hey, everybody, you got a minute? For the knowledge? You sure, brother? Come on, brother. One by one, brother. Hey, the Lord said there is nothing good but one. That is God. But the sinner shall be taken by her. It says what? But the sinner shall be taken by her. See that? The sinner is going to be taken by her snares, man. They're going to be trapped up. All right? They're going to be imprisoned. Right. Captivated by the mind, like all the furnace. When you read Judith the 16th chapter. That's why it's important to uh, keep these commandments. Read uh, Proverbs 6 and 23. Bring it out. All right, meditate on these precepts. Hey, the most I don't say things, we just going over that. The most I is not just saying things for no reason. But it takes man to have to be rebellious and hard headed, do it anyway. Then he find out, dang, Lord, you was right. But the most I was right the first time. Right. But you wanted to be hard headed. All right, stiff neck. Do your own thing. Do what's right in your own eyes. Bring this up. These Proverbs. commandments is for your good. Right. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. For the commandments is a lamp. Right. And the law is light. And the what? And, and the, the law, law is light. light. And reproofs of restraint. And reproofs of instructions are of are the way of life. Right. To keep thee from the evil woman. To what? To, to keep, keep thee from the, the evil woman. What are the commandments going to do? To keep thee from the evil woman. And guess what? These commandments, they're going to keep you from the evil woman. Right. You have evil women out here. You have whores, harlots. And hey, give me Revelation chapter 17 and 5. 
America. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Esau. All right. He looking like he wanted to do something. See that? He said, "Up us." And you going into slavery, boy? Yeah, boy. Uh, and you, you and your parent, you and your family going into slavery. Just know that you going into you going into slavery, boy. Get ready. Start. Hey, hey, you gonna be destroyed. Start getting in shape. Start getting in shape. We gonna get you, boy. Yeah, you a coward, man. You wanna walk away then and say something? All right. See Esau. Hey, these nations, man, they, they make you laugh a little bit, man. Yeah. All right, it's okay to get a, you know, crack and smile every once in a while. All right. <laughs> Nevertheless, these nations, hey, he tried to come up like he was tough. Sure. He tried to size me up, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, he took off the airpods, tried to size me up. All right, we're going to say, hey, brother, you're around over there. Go get him. <laughs> All right. They're going to take him to pay. They're going to, you know, and righteousness. But uh, bring this up. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, right? the mother of harlots. The what? The, the mother, mother of, of harlots. harlots. What is Babylon the Great? The, the mother, mother of harlots. What is America? The, the mother, mother of harlots. And America, she's a harlot herself. So not, is these com not only is these commandments going to keep you from the physical evil woman, right? It's going to also keep you from Babylon the Great, right. which is the main top part. Hey, she got the most bodies on the spiritual level. All right, Eve now, you know, they kind of, their body count kind of high, but guess what? Babylon the Great, you know how many men she slept with? Right. You know how many men that have drank of her cup? Really? All right. You know how many men that have touched her? All right. Been inside of her? Then there are over five billion people. And she's looking for the man that's keeping the commandments. All right, you're gonna mend brother for the word.